We just left Engineer Pass, and we're now on part two of the loop. We're heading to Cinnamon Pass and then back down to Lake City, and along the way we're going to stop at O Point and the ghost town of Animus Forks. Appreciate it. If you haven't seen part one where we go from Lake City to Engineer Pass, you should go back and watch it. It's a great drive. I think you'll really enjoy it. We found the road to O Point. Uh, it was maybe two miles from Engineer Pass. We were told by a passerby not to miss this spot. So it was really cool. You can see the road goes along the ridge of this mountain and it goes out to the end where there's a, a round area out there where you can park quite a few vehicles. It's a really cool spot to stop, have a look around. The views are just incredible. We spent about 45 minutes there, had a little lunch, and then we got back on the trail and uh, we're going to go to Animus Forks from here. So we got back on the trail, and as you can see, it's a shelf road. Pretty, pretty steep drop off there to the right, and it's pretty narrow, so uh, definitely take your time, be careful. And um, Animus Forks is somewhere up here ahead. Uh, we don't know how far, but we're certainly going to find it. Just take a look at this view up ahead. You just can't beat this. I mean, we're, we're back in the mountains. We're way up in altitude. It's a beautiful day and uh, wow, just, just unbelievable. What a sight. The views on this trail are just incredible and they just don't stop, I tell you. Every time you go around a bend and, and go around a turn, there's just something else to look at. Uh, I just, I, it's just, hard, it's just hard to explain. It, it is just absolutely gorgeous up here. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We ride... What you're going to see right up here is an example of what you should not do on the trail. There's a tight turn ahead and there's a forerunner parked in the turn on the outside edge. That outside edge is where you need to go to miss the rough spot on the inside. And he's kind of got it blocked and forcing these people to take the inside. So when you're out on the trail, just be courteous and make sure if you pull over and park that you're, you're out of the way and, and give plenty of room for everybody to get by you easily and just try not to clog up the trail. It, it took this group quite a while to get past this forerunner. And uh, we must have sat there for maybe 10 minutes waiting for the group to get by. So, uh, like I said, just, just be courteous on the trail and, and make sure you offer plenty of, plenty of room for passers to get by you. The shelf road continues and uh, it's really kind of opened up here and you can get a real good look at the trail ahead of you down below. And, Tell you what really happened in this area is we just really ran into a lot of traffic, uh, a lot of pulling over and letting people pass. Um, but it was okay, you know, no problems or issues or anything, plenty of room. Uh, the views are great, uh, it's just an awesome place to be. And uh, if you get out here, just, just really enjoy it, take it all in. Don't be in a hurry, just enjoy yourself. Never sleep, never stop, never shut from the top. I'd like to take just a second to acknowledge Ryan here. You see, this day was Ryan's birthday. Ryan, there's nothing I would have rather done this day than spend your birthday with you doing something that you're just so passionate about. I hope you remember this birthday forever. Happy birthday, and here's to more adventures ahead. Stay on the 
5,334 feet. So we're just really taking in the views as we make our way down the mountain. And uh, Animus Forks is about 11,000 feet altitude. And we started out at Engineer Pass at 12,600. So we've got a pretty good ways to get down into that area. And uh, so it's gonna be a nice drive. We're just gonna enjoy the ride. There was a little bit of confusion as we came to this split in the road. Uh, Cinnamon Pass is straight ahead, but we were wanting to go to Animus Fork. So we, we pulled over, we took a look at the map, uh, ended up making the turn there and, and uh, continuing forward. Uh, I believe, I'm not positive, but I, I believe this road that we're turning back on here is actually the road that, that comes into the loop from Silverton, Colorado. I'm assuming we uh, do the switch back here. Yeah, why don't we? Off for a second and I'll check on it. It says cinnamon pass straight ahead. There continued to be quite a bit of traffic as we got back in here and most people were going the other way. I, I don't know if uh, taking the south end first is the most popular way to take this loop, but uh, we decided to go the opposite direction. But there sure seemed to be an awful lot of people going the other way. If you do Alpine Loop, the ghost town of Animus Forks is a place you definitely want to stop and explore. It's located uh, about 12 miles northeast of Silverton at 11,200 feet. Uh, three rivers merge in the area, one of them being the Animus, and that's how it got its name. The town sprung up in 1873. At one time, 450 people lived there. It had a hotel, a post office, a saloon, and a general store. In 1884, a 23-day blizzard buried the town in 25 feet of snow. The residents had to dig tunnels through the snow to check on their neighbors. The mining was over by 1910, and by 1920, it was just a ghost town. We really enjoyed the largest house in town. It, uh, it had rather nice accommodations. We spent quite a bit of time exploring around Animus Forks and really enjoyed it. The day was getting a little late, so uh, we got back on the trail and started looking for Cinnamon Pass. Scenery on Alpine Loop just—it never stops. Uh, not a difficult trail, nothing technical, but uh, so worthwhile to do. Uh, it's just fascinating to see the mountains and be up in them, and just enjoy the drive. Uh, just the scenery goes on forever; it never stops. Uh, if you do Alpine Loop in the future, you're you're in for a real treat. This area is affectionately known as the Switzerland of America. And I can only imagine, you know, what this area looks like when the mountains are covered with snow. It just has to be something to see. 
When we were at Cinnamon Pass, we met two young ladies that had biked in from Silverton and were heading to Lake City from there. Amazing guts these ladies had to, to make that trip by bike. Uh, I sure wouldn't do it, that's for sure. They passed us as we were on our way down the mountain from Cinnamon Pass, and we never saw them again. They definitely made Lake City before we did, but they were downhill all the way. Yeah, a big hell no. <laughs> Along the south end of the loop that goes between Cinnamon Pass and Lake City, you're going to get views of Handy's, Sunshine, and Red Cloud Peaks, which are some of the highest peaks in Colorado. How you doing? So it was really something to see this guy. He was making his way from Lake City up, probably on his way to Silverton. I know uh, gravel biking has really gained in popularity. And, Tell you what, these these guys are something else. They they just blow me away with what they do. So just look at this view up ahead. The trail, the mountains, the beautiful blue sky. Yeah, this is a really good day to be out in the mountains in Colorado. Hey, I really appreciate you watching and uh, hope you'll subscribe to my channel and help me grow. We've got a lot more adventures planned in the future and we're going to continue to video them and get better at our craft here to, to bring the adventure to you and so that uh, you can see the trails and, and get out there and do them for yourself. If you haven't, if you've done them in the past, you, you can relive it. So it's a lot of fun. We really enjoy it and uh, just appreciate you, appreciate you watching the videos. Okay.